It's been a rough few days on Dunlap Street. And it's just been frightening. I mean, none of us want to go to the warehouse alone, work here alone on the weekends. We all leave at the same time. Women who work here have changed the routine of their workday. We've been, you know, calling each other on the cell phones when we get to our car, which is a half a block away from work. It is the same neighborhood where on Saturday a woman fought off a man believed to be a serial rapist. It was really, really, really scary. It was really scary for my wife because she, when I walked out of the house, she, she bolted up all two locks in the door. All over Santa Fe, women have been taking precautions just like that. Ever since police announced that they think more than half a dozen recent rapes or attempted rapes may be connected. It's the kind of news that changes the way you live. It's getting warm out. We might leave a window open at night and it's not safe to do that. And that is horrifying. It's horrifying. The horror may be over with today's arrest. His head was kind of turned where he didn't want anyone to see him. And I was like, I bet you that's that guy. We're, we're just relieved that he's out of here. Life and work on Dunlap Street and all over Santa Fe may slowly get back to normal. Matt Grubbs, KOAT Action 7 News.